time. So x minus 3 all squared minus x plus 3 all squared all over 3x. So in this question, we're actually combining a bunch of different things we've learned throughout the chapter. And there's a lots of ways of getting this wrong. And so uh, we're going to walk through this uh, carefully. So um, the first... Uh, the first thing to do is to make sure that when you're multiplying this, you're not just going like x squared minus 3 squared, because that's actually totally wrong. Um, when you have a squared on a parenthesis like that, like it's always best to write it out like this, parenthesis times parenthesis, and just do x minus 3 times x minus 3, and then just multiply it out and take your time, because the x minus 3 all squared is asking us to do a double distributive property, right? So we go x times x and then x times negative 3. So x times x, x squared, x times negative 3 minus 3x, right? And then we go like um, negative 3 times x and then negative 3 times negative 3. So negative 3 times x minus 3x, negative 3 times negative 3 plus 9, right? So just be careful, multiply. This is the first step. So this whole thing is actually x squared minus 6x plus 9, okay? And similarly, we have this guy, parenthesis, around the x plus 3 all squared. And it's not just x squared plus 3 squared, right? And by the way, let me just go over the common error on, on that one. Like, like the reason it's not just, um, you know, x squared minus 3 squared or x squared minus 9. Well, one of the reasons is that, look, when you actually do it properly, you don't get x squared minus 9. So that's one way to explain it, right? <laughs> It has to be expanded out. It's not. It's not that same. You don't just put. The, you can't just put the squares in like that. Um, and and similarly with this one, um, we've got to go x plus three times x plus three, right? And then just carefully multiply it out. Take your time. No rush. So x times x, then x times three. So x squared. That, and then take this 3, 3 times x, and then 3 times 3, plus 3x, plus 9, right? So this x plus 3 all squared works out to be this. And then the question is, what do we do with that subtract up there? That's a question. So let me know when you're this far. Oh, I got it. Okay. So this subtract is subtracting the whole thing. So we have to be very careful that we don't just subtract the x squared. That's wrong. You have to subtract the whole thing. Does that make sense? That yeah. subtract is subtract all of this, not just like the, the leading term or whatever. It's subtract like everything, right? And so I haven't even dealt with the 3x on the bottom yet because this is, this, this is a multi-step problem. So this takes time. And there's lots of ways to get it wrong. So I'm just laying it out nice and slow. So subtract all of this. Now we have to remember our distributive property. Like it, it's like a negative one times everything. Do you remember that? Yeah. So we're multiplying in by like a negative, we're multiplying like a negative one in here. And so all of these now become multiplied by negative one. So it's like negative, you know, x squared. Negative one times six x minus six x. Negative one times nine minus nine. It's quite a few steps to this problem, everybody. So just don't rush. Just take your time. Write everything out. 
And again, I haven't even dealt with the 3x. I'm just simplifying the top right now. So this is just simplifying the top of the bracket here. Um, and I guess that, that minus sign, if anyone's interested, that, that was there <laughs> at some point. Anyway, so we get as far as here. Now we've dealt with the squared, and we've dealt with this squared, and we've dealt with this subtract sign because we've distributed it. So great stuff. That's the hard part. Now we need to add like terms and see what we end up with, right? Okay. So, so then you would add the x's together. Yeah. The numbers with the x's. Right, right. So we got like a 1x squared minus 1x squared. Which that is, would just be an x? That would just be 0. Because oh. like, you know, 1a squared minus 1a squared is just 0. Or, you know, 3y cubed minus 3y cubed is just 0. Because it's the same thing, take away the same thing, isn't it? Yeah. You know, it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like if you had, you know, 17, um, I don't know, alligators, you know, to the power of 4. And then you subtracted 17 alligators to the power of 4. I mean, that's just 0. It's the same thing. It doesn't matter what it is. It's the same thing minus the same thing. It's gone. <laughs> You know, I had a 1x squared, I subtracted 1, now it's gone. <laughs> right. Um, negative 6x minus 6x. That would be negative 12, right? Lovely, negative 12x, yep. Yeah. And then positive 9 minus 9. That would be 0. Yeah, so that's also gone. It's 9 minus 9, 0, it's nothing, right? And now, at this point, I'm going to say, you know what, let's now divide by the 3x. Let's deal with our dividing by 3x at this point. Right. So we have this all over 3x. So finally, I figured out what the top is. Now I'm going to put in the bottom. So the bottom is finally in here now, the bottom of the fraction. And now I'm going to simplify that, right? So x is cross cancel and three is cross cancel. Four. Yep. And that that's a four. Yep. So I get negative over positive negative. Four times one, which is four, over one times one, which is one. So just negative four. Because the x is cross cancel. So it's just the number negative four actually. Isn't it? Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Which is weird because it, it's like it's what is it saying? It's saying actually that, that no matter what x you plug in, um you the answer is negative four. So you could tell you could play a trick on a friend actually with this question and say, uh think of any number. Think of any number, any number at all, and they think of a number. Okay, take your number and let's say they thought of okay, any number at all. Like let's say they, they thought of like 121.5, and, and they didn't tell you, they didn't tell you. Okay, then you say, subtract three, okay, squares, okay. Now, take your number again, uh, you know, add three, okay. Now, squares, okay. Now, take what you got the first time, okay. Now, subtract what you got the next time, okay. Now, divide all of that by three times your original number, 121.5. And your answer is negative four. And I'd be like, wow, you're a genius. <laughs> you know, but it doesn't matter because it doesn't matter what X you plug. This is a great game to play in your friends. You know, it's always going to be negative four no matter what you plug in here because the X is cross-canceled at the end anyway. That's that was the magic of it. <laughs>